Speed ramping isn't officially a feature in LumaFusion yet, but in this video I'm going to show you a really simple trick that I use to achieve a speed ramping effect. Well, here we are in LumaFusion and I'm using this clip of me walking Luna across the screen. So if we want to slow this down, speed ramping, we're going to scroll along to where we want the speed ramp to start and we're going to make a cut using the scissor icon. Once we've done that, we're going to zoom right in until we can see the frames at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to move along five frames at a time and make a cut every five frames. Once we've done that, we're going to double tap on that first clip. Then we're going to tap on the time symbol at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take that down to 80%. Double tap the next clip, take that down to 70%. Take the next clip down to 60%. And then finally, set the last clip down to 50% half speed. So that will play through like this. So it quickly ramps down to that half speed instead of just jumping straight into it. Okay, let's do one where we speed up. So I'm gonna use this drone footage that we shot at sunset in Cheshire. So same thing again, scroll along to where we want the speed ramp to begin, make a cut, and then zoom right in so we can see the frames at the bottom of the screen. And once again, we're gonna move along five frames at a time and make a cut every five frames. Shrink that down so we can see them all on the screen. Double tap the first clip and move that up to 1.5. Second clip onto 2. Third clip onto 2.5. Next clip onto 3. Next clip onto 3.5. And you can see the clips are getting much smaller now as we're increasing the speed. Next clip onto 4. And finally, the last clip onto 4.5 speed. So now that plays through like this. And that's it. If you found this video useful, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.